am Maria and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you some Snapchat hacks and y'all may know some of it or may not. So, let's get on to the video. Okay, so hack number one lets you choose a variety of colors from the color bar. As you all can see, when I move my finger, the right side consists of pastel colors and the left side has darker shades. Hack number 2 lets you make your text into a rainbow text. Type in the word or the sentence you want. Select the word or the letter you want to edit and then add the colors of your choice. As I am doing it in a rainbow text, I am adding all the 7 colors of the rainbow. You can even change the text to bold, italic or underline. Well, did you guys know that you could add a frame to your photos? Type in the letter O and select a color for it using the color bar. Now bring the O in the center and zoom it. The zoom door kind of looks like a frame for your picture. Now you can even have a gradient filter of your own, so why not have one? Select the emoji that you want to set as your filter. For this pic, I've selected the peach emoji and now I'm gonna zoom it. So once you get the desired filter, hold on to the emoji and drag it to the delete button but do not leave your finger. While you are holding your finger on the delete button, press the send button at the same time. And there you have it, your very own gradient filter. We can even have a rainbow filter now. It's just the way we did the gradient filter. Zoom it, drag it, but do not release until you send it. How do you fit each word on each line when you can't even add another line? That's how. Go to your messages or your memo and type in the text that you want to add to your picture. Once you're done typing, select the text and copy it. Now go back to your snapchat and paste your text over there. Hack number 7 is kind of a pop art for your snapchat pic. Type in any letter that has a vertical line in it. I selected the D 
and added a color of my choice. Zoom the letter that you just chose. Drag the D in position with both your fingers and then release one finger and you'll have your other filter coming right through it. Once you have all your filters in position, you can send it and that's how you get the pop art effect. The motion tracking emoji will track us wherever we go. Once you're done recording, select an emoji. Tap and hold the emoji where you want to place it and then release it. The emoji will now motion track the object.